Hello and welcome to our new game save. We today are going to be harvesting the field of sorghum. Boy, have we got some dust. <laughs> That's too much dust. I can't see from inside the cab. Uh, we will have to try and lower that down for the future. Not sure whether we can lower it down Maintenance intervals are in there. Aha. So, have we got in here? Harvesters, drop that down to 150. Headers, down to 90. Uh, still getting plenty of dust, but uh, we'll get this harvested. It is born home, I think that's what you call it. Um, we're using the New Holland TR85, along with we have got a Ford 5610 which is on the front loader we've got a 6810 and a 7610 that you will see whilst we are doing this because we've got them on the carts and we have got A 78 10 for doing cultivation work, potato harvesting, and such like jobs. The Shire farm that we had totally screwed up, and all the buildings disappeared within the farmyard. So yeah, well, save restarting that, we thought we would bring a new map on and give it a, a showing. It's a fairly big map, this one as well, uh, especially this field is fairly big. Uh, it is very dry harvesting this. Not a lot of dust from the behind, but the header is picking up a lot of dust. Can't say a thing from in cab. Uh, may have to just have a bit more of an adjustment on that. We're starting on the 1st of September. We had no wheat fields or anything to get us started so we are almost now full tank we're half a tank now we should get around here too hills and ollers within the fields uh, see what money we get as we go forward let's just check on the header again headers we we'll go down to 50 percent 
and down to 110% on the harvester, see if that makes any difference. That's still got a bit of dust and yeah, that's looking a bit better anyway. So we have got the dust down to a bit more manageable level. As you can see that chain that side works on this one as well. It does work reasonably well this combine actually. It's almost going to make it up to the, well get to the end of here, we're not going to be too far off the time to go and fetch the first of the trailers uh, the head of dust probably wants to come down just that little bit more down to 30% Try that. <coughs> Still got some dust, but looking a bit more manageable now. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, not got a massive combine on the farm, but We own six fields on the farm. Probably hadn't even had fertiliser on this with just taking the farm on. Uh, we will... Yeah, that's a lot better now at 30%. May want to go up to 35 uh, we have got a good amount of ground on there so we can drop that down put out the the auger There we are with 99%. Uh, start off with the little AS trailer on the 6810. I think the auger should be high enough up to allow both trailers under it. <coughs> we have got this AS trailer that we've got here and we've also got, as you can see, the little shakers there working. Really is a nice looking combine to be fair. Yes, yeah, so the 6810 is on the Marston, the 7610 is on the Stewart trailer. We 
We shall leave that auger out. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, yeah, we missed an episode yesterday of the classic series. I went for my second qualifying session for the British Indoor Karting Championships. Yeah, it seems to work well. The crop goes into the middle through the auger there as it should so but yeah we'll get this field harvested over the next couple of days. Don't think we'll get it all done today. Even working the day out. After we finish the recordings, uh, yeah, not sure, we'll show you what fields we own whilst we are here. So we own field 28, which is the one we're in now with the sorghum in. We own field 15, field 34, which is sugar beet, Field 45, which is grass. Field 7 was wheat, but it was harvested when we took the farm on. And field 36, which I think soybeans, yes. The soils we've got, you can see we've got some heavy clay all the way down to sandy loam in field 15. Uh, that is the land that we've got. These combines was out uh, probably 1980s. It does seem to work well. the straw it takes off being shoved out through the choppers at the back got a nice island of trees here in the middle of the field we've got to work our way around started ourselves off with small equipment it is nice to run some of this older harvesting equipment Mr. Chunk there not to worry
it is working well this combine we've got 67% of the tank full again Definitely going to get to the end and probably make a start across this end headland. Uh, grain tank holds just under six ton or around about six ton. Almost back around to the start. And the first bit of a breed along this end, Edland. It is over six ton of grain in this tank. has got the tank full once more there is 46% full on the grain tank on the trailer rather so we'll almost have a load with the advent of this tank being emptied empty overly quick but not overly slow either so seems a decent combine on that as well put the auger in <coughs> get ourselves around this headland then we can take a split through the field Well, you see there we've got the 
levers working inside as well a little bit, some of them. May send the six seventy eight ten over to the store or get someone to come to the farm and fit GPS for us. I think we could go a little bit more on that to Edders thirty five per cent. Yeah, thirty five per cent is about right, I think. Uh, cut ourselves around this headland, then the headlands will be finished. Need to get the mulcher on the 7810 then and get the field mulched, get the winter wheat in. Uh, whether we've got time to get the oilseed rape in this year. I think we might do, we'll see. Yeah, 35% seems to be about right for the adder. It's just oh, the harvester to 125. And jump back out, see what it's showing. Yeah, that's more like it. <coughs> Right amounts of dust now. Sorghum, not the kind of crop we will be growing regularly. Uh, makes a nice change to have it in here. Half a tank already, or just over. We should make it around so we can show you the 7810 on the farm. Plenty of dust. Coming off the machine means the crop's nice and dry and doesn't need any drying in the yard, which is good, saves it a bit of money. Should make it around to where the C 
68 and is again just about, I think. Eighty three per cent full. One breed left here on the headland once we've emptied the tank. It is a long way, surprisingly, a long way from the farm, this field. It's not that far if you're on foot, but to walk around, let's get that piece we missed there, bring up the get ourselves back into get that little piece there that we missed we can get ourselves to this end and then we can make the split through the field but we are all but finished here today so we shall get this emptied into the 7.6 and the Stuart trailer and then we can get a split through get ourselves turned to that We have to go down there all the way around the outside of the map just to get back somewhere just the other side of that tree. Yeah, we shall get this under the upper. As we do, that is where we're going to leave you for today. Let's get the sheep rolled back. So, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please give us a like. Give us a share. Drop us a comment. If you are new to the channel and you'd like to see more of the work we do here, please subscribe to the channel. If you give that bell a ring, it will tell you when our content is available. Until you join us again next time. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye for now.